welcome to art. Um, I wanted to kind of base our class on this book today. Um, it might look a little bit worse for the wear, but that's because it's really old. It's from 1967. Um, but this book is full of um, a kind of poem called a haiku. And it's a form of poetry that originated in Japan. And um, there's a certain pattern that the words have to follow. Um, so they're quite short. So for example, let's see, this one, I just kicked something. This one goes, high noon, a hot sun bathes the town in quiet and stirs the sleeping dog. And so it's just a really quick snippet, like a really short moment. And um, it's perfect for illustrating because this artist, this one, like beautiful pictures, um, was able to at, put every like bit of that information in this picture, right? He has a sleeping dog, the town, the hot sun, because it was only just a really short poem that, that, that it kind of represents the same amount of time that, that most pictures do. So I thought it would be the perfect thing for you guys to draw a picture of um, because it's so easy to see the picture in your head when it's just that really short amount of time. So um, I'm gonna read you a few more of these poems and then I'll read one to you without showing you the picture and it's gonna be your job to illustrate um, that poem. Okay, let's look at Birds, Frogs, and Moonlight. A discovery on my frog's smooth green belly, there sits no button. Look out, my sparrow. Fly away, fly away, see? A pony trots by. Little frog among rain-shaken leaves, are you too splashed with fresh green paint? All at once the storm overcome a poor sparrow, grass, a blade of grass. Above the chorus, listen, a single cricket shakes a golden bell. In storm-tossed grassland, one leaf, one praying mantis, tremble together. Leaping, flying fish, dancing for me and my boat as I sail for home. Are you ready for the poem that you're going to illustrate? Okay, here it is. Red dragonfly on my shoulder calls me his friend. Autumn has arrived. I'll read it again and close your eyes and look, see if you can see a picture of this in your head. Okay, ready? Red dragonfly on my shoulder calls me his friend. Autumn has arrived. I see a picture already. I think I'm ready to draw it. I'm actually really excited. Do you see your picture? Okay, let's draw. And I'll show you some um, pictures of dragonflies while we put listen to the music in case you forgot how they looked or you wanted to see what they look like. Okay. Red dragonfly on. My shoulder calls me his friend. Autumn has arrived.
that my dragonfly would be on the squirrel's shoulder. And so I made the squirrel and I made the dragonfly. I'm not done with it yet, but um, now I have to make a decision. What else am I gonna put in my drawing? So I put them over here because I like to leave lots of room for other stuff on my picture. Um, so here he is kind of in the side on the corner. Um, so I have all of this room. What else am I gonna add to my picture? Well, um, when I was looking for inspiration photos for you that you saw, so I put some dragonflies in there and some pictures of fall, there was one with a red bridge. That was my favorite. I like that red bridge because I think maybe it will look really good with my red dragonfly, right? So, um, and I wanted to put a stream in my picture because I was thinking when I see dragonflies, like I'm usually near some kind of water, right? Like if you're in the butterfly garden um, and you see a dragonfly, it's usually like by that little stream. Every time I'm by that stream, I feel like I see a damselfly or a dragonfly. Um, so I wanted to have a stream in my picture and I, and I liked that bridge. So I think that that would be a cool thing to put in this part. And then what else? Um, well, the poem says it's autumn, so I'm gonna put some trees and things in mine. Well, what do you think you're gonna put in yours? Think about what you like to draw, like what's exciting. Like I, I feel like I really wanna draw that bridge. Like I'm really excited about it. So what do you like to draw? Can you have room to put that in your picture? And you know, it could be something 
totally different from mine. Like, it can be a little crazy. I like that about your guys' drawings when you put things that are really unexpected in them. That's one of my favorite things. I always get ideas from you. Um, so, you know, you have probably, I'm betting, I'm, I'm thinking maybe a lot of you guys did the dragonfly and maybe a person or an animal, somebody that is sitting on their shoulder. Um, and now you're kind of like, hmm, what else can I add? So um, think about what do you like to draw? Put that in there. Like where, where are they? Show those settings, show where they are. Um, so let's finish up our drawings. Thank you. 